Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh Cav and in this episode we're going to be working on two 8 HP gearboxes that I have behind me. Basically what's happened is uh, I got a gearbox sent to me from Allen's Automatics here in Cairns and that gearbox was going to be used for my mum's FPV uh, Aspect GT Falcon. Uh, we were going to, we're going to uh, change it from manual to an automatic box with a turbo Lamic computer and also a Helltech computer working together to create awesome power and be able to do consistent drag racing. Um, we're also going to be installing a fly-by-wire clutch in that car as well. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be really fun when we get to that point. However, the first original box that we were going to use this 8HP 70K, uh, the bell housing will not fit up to the Coyote engine. Uh, there is no basically uh, adapter plate that you can buy off the shelf in order to fit this gearbox up to the Coyote motor. Uh, however, the, this one here, which is an 8 HP, it's from a Cor Corvette, so Chevy, Chevy pattern. Anyway, different bell housing, uh, but this one will actually fit up to the Coyote motor with a adapter plate from 8-speed, I believe it's called. 8-speed is the website or business where we're buying the adapter plate from. Same place we bought the adapter plate for the 2JZ in order to adapt the 8HP 70K box over here onto the engine uh, that it's on now. So what I'm doing in this episode is basically because we've got a second box to fit to the car, I actually have already modified this 8HP in order to accept the Turbo Lamic computer. Now, in order for the Turbo Lamic computer to work, you have to take out the, T, the TUC computer, which is the, sorry, the TCU, Transmission Control Unit. Gotta get better with my acronyms. Anyway, uh, basically what that is, is a little computer that controls, it has all the maps that controls gear changes when the, uh, when the gearbox will apply torque or how much torque uh, in gear one, two, three, four, and so on. Uh, we're ripping that out because obviously we're replacing that with the Turbo Lamic uh, TCU. And that will enable us to put our own programming in, which is awesome. Anyway, so the job today is to Let's see if I can pull this stuff out of this box and move it over into this one without desoldering the, the unit that I've put on there. It's actually impossible to do because uh, once the unit is soldered in, uh, it's then encased in a, a resin, which pretty much I'd have to destroy it to get it out, which I'm not gonna do. So I'm hoping that I can just pull the control unit out of here and swap them around. So let's see how we go. Let's go. I honestly don't see this as being a very big job. So let's get into it and see how we go. I'm gonna use my rattle gun to unscrew these screws quickly. A slightly bigger head they're actually got a different size uh, hex head on them and basically these screws hold this entire piece in here all of these other ones basically uh, hold it together as you can split this in half so to get this piece out and to get to the TCU behind this I'm just gonna take these bigger bolts out and pull it out so let's do it. When pulling these apart, there's a little lug here, which you undo and lift up, and this will allow the plug from underneath here to be able to be pulled in, and this whole unit to be pulled out. So, it does take a little bit of persuasion, so we do just give it a little, move that whole piece, like so, and just got 
to wiggle that little plug out and bang, voila. Okay guys, so there you have it. We have just moved the control modules from one gearbox to the other. There was no dramas at all, went together pretty smoothly. Everything looked exactly the same. Um, so I hope uh, that information helps somebody out there. If anyone wants to change the control module from one eight, one eight HP to another with a different uh, bell housing or the Chevy, Chevy bell housing, uh, it's not an issue. So guys, if you find this content helpful in any way, I know it's, um, I say this every time, please, please, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really, really does help me out. It's what uh, makes us, and well, what enables us to be able to produce videos on YouTube is subscribers, building subscribers. It's free to do it. Um, so I really would appreciate if you guys could hit that subscribe button and um, support me doing what I'm doing so that I can continue to make awesome videos and awesome content for you guys to watch. I hope you enjoyed that guys. We'll see you for the next one. Take care.